Goedemorgen. I wish my hair and my best boyfriend slash personal hairstylist is here to comb my hair. I don't have to leave anymore. What I have is right here. Spend my nights and days before searching the world for what's right here. It's absolutely ridiculous. It's really about time I bought this. Explored islands and cities I have loved. Here I saw something I couldn't overlook. I am yours now. Reunited again. So we're gonna hide. I don't ever have to leave. Well, I guess I'll have to go back home then. I'm froze by desire. No need to leave. Cause where would I be? Where are we? We're now at the training palast. Um, this is the one place at uh, the station of Friedrichstraße where people from West Berlin could enter East Berlin. So this was the, the only hall in the Berlin Wall. At least one of the few uh, places where regular citizens could come into East Berlin. And many people did so and, and if they did they had to buy East German marks because they weren't worth anything but then they had to pay with West German marks and that way the East German government actually got a little real money instead of only toy money. See what I've done That bridge is on fire And back to where I've been You can even shower here I'm frozen no, by desire No need to leave Cause where would I be If this were to go under But that's a risk I should take this museum more seriously I'm froze by desire This is the choice I Just one wall. There are always two of them, one inner and one outer wall. And in between you had a stretch of sand, gravel. It was always very neat and tidy. So the guards could actually see if someone tried to pass along. We are now at the Gedenkstätte Berliner Mauer on the Bernauer Straße. And here you'll find a piece of wall as it actually was because a lot of people think the wall is just one wall but as you can see here, it was actually way wider and not just just a wall, but really a big stretch of land, unused and only used for, for the wall, or walls, as it actually is. I have a friend's tour guide, and he is a new guide. I'm froze by There's actually a piece of the Berlin Wall on Mars. I to be found out. So now I'll Oh, 
we're now at an exhibition about the ghost train station. What did we get at the vegan? I don't know what is this because you bought it. It's it's a, a hazelnut chocolate bar. This is a soy shake with cacao, uh, banana, and vanilla. And this is sausages, kind of, but I don't know what exactly. But they were on discount, so. And cheese, vegan cheese. Yeah. This is a vegan chocolate bar that's made in Berlin, so that's why I wanted to try it. And I've always wanted to try this, but now it was on sale, so I guess that's the time to do it. I don't have to leave. And now to the regular supermarket. It's right here. Spend my nights and days before searching the world for what's right here. Underneath an unexplored islands and cities. <laughs> we just went to the Won Zimmer bar slash club and uh, we were gonna cook at home. But it's already way too late now, so... Yeah, we did groceries for that, but we spent too long drinking ginger ales and beer. So we're gonna go for... Surprise, surprise! The pizza she didn't have last time because she didn't have enough money. <laughs> Vegan pizza. Fago ran out of cheese, so they didn't serve any more pizza. But we are super determined. And we're just gonna go to a different vegan pizzeria. Pizza is happening anyways. Welcome to my life as a pizza addict. We ordered this pizza with three kinds of vegan meat. It's a bit more expensive than the other vegan pizzas I've had here in Berlin. But I must honestly say that this is the best vegan pizza. I ever had. And here's Yuri and he's got us a beer! Hey, because with a pizza you should have beer. Cheers. Alright, it's time for one of my favorite things in life. Taste tests. This is one of those products that I've seen around and I really wanted to try and it's a chocolate bar with hazelnuts that's made in Berlin. So we're gonna try this. <laughs> Yuri is taste testing bags just to see if they're still doing okay. Still the same as always. Come here, i taste test. What I like about this is that it tastes like milk chocolate. It it doesn't taste vegan at all. No. It just tastes like like milk milk, ch milk chocolate. It tastes like there's a shitload of butter and milk in. And it's not, they're completely vegan and it's gluten free and everything. Mm. Look how much bigger your head is compared to mine. <laughs> Don't tell her, but that's because of the brains. I'm super smart. We're going to sleep, guys. And thanks so much for watching. Tomorrow is another adventure in Berlin with Yurian and Liz. Bye!